More than likely, when the helicopter is only flying a few inches off the ground, even though you're giving it full power, the problem is that the battery is not giving enough current to the rotor blades, so it can't spin faster. So what you need to do is take the screws off that are right here. There are two of them, one on each side, and pull off this nose cone, and you'll get to the battery. The battery usually sits right here. But here's the battery. Take a look at this. This thing is bloated. It's uh, it's puffed up. And actually, it uh, it probably came this way. And so I complained to the, the company that I bought it from, and they sent me a new battery. Look at the replacement battery. It's uh, it's normal, normal size. So what, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder in a new battery. Uh, these don't have, like, quick connections or anything. Um, there are different ways that you can solder in a battery. And by the way, if you want to go buy one of these, it's just a few bucks, I think, online. Um, that you can solder it in right here onto the board. Uh, you really need some, some tight soldering equipment um, to do that, to be able to get in here and not burn anything else. Maybe the size of your tweezers. So most people probably don't have those kinds of soldering irons. Um, you could also cut this wire and strip this wire and solder the wires together in the middle. That's another method. And one other method is to desolder these wires right at the battery and take these off over here and then keep these wires, solder them to this. And that's what I'm going to do. Um, there is uh, one precaution that you really want to make sure that you take if you if you go this route versus the other two is that you want to make sure that your soldering iron and your heat does not uh, affect the battery. And so uh, you can watch what I do. Uh, I'll try to be careful and uh, see if it fixes the problem. Okay, I've got the zoomed in view here. This is the battery that's still connected to the helicopter. And this yellow tape here is called Kapton tape. And I have a little knife here. I'm going to cut, cut it like this. Okay, well, here's my fume extractor. I got the tape off, and you can see the metal is exposed. And so I'm going to desolder de these right now. Make sure you don't get the battery, tag the battery here with all this heat. I might need to turn my iron up for the next one. I just wanted to be careful. That's why it took a little bit longer. Uh, but that those are off. And now I need to take off the leads on the new battery. Okay, we're going to attach the wires from the helicopter. What we're going to do is put on some flux here. And if you're wondering, uh, what am I putting on here? Uh, check the description in the video. I'll have a link to where I bought this as well as if you're curious what equipment that I'm using I will have a link on there to if you're curious what in the world is all that noise and what soldering iron is he using even though I'm not using the right tip um, it still gets the job done so I get the flux on there actually I want to pull a bit more that's a big ball of solder on there okay alright so here are the wires from the helicopter. I'm holding the helicopter to the side. So I'm going to put the black one on first. And again, you can hear the, the noise of the fume extractor because I don't want to breathe in the, the fumes. And we'll 
get started and my soldering iron is going to beep at me again. I won't beep at me this time. Oh, it will. It just loves to beep. Much easier when there's flux on there. I know burned a little bit this this flux off. And there's the red wire. Keep that battery cool. Try to keep that, like you can see with that board, I've been trying to pull that up a little bit. I do not want that battery to get hot. So that looks pretty good. What uh, what I want to do is get this captain tape and cover it over. I have extra captain tape I'm going to put on here. Uh, but you can also just peel this back down if you're careful. You can always steal it from the other side if you want to cover up these connections. Uh, you want to make sure that, just check visually that there's no short circuit between here and here. Um, I should have mentioned that at the beginning. You want to really make sure that you're not going to short out this battery. Okay, the battery's all charged up. Let's see if we can get it to go higher than a few inches off the ground. All right, it has a lot of power. Great, so that's how it's done. Hope you enjoyed the video.